So we are here at Central Park on the Wonder of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship currently. It's the uh, Royal Caribbean, of course. And uh, we're in the aft, so the back of the ship is on deck number eight. So in the Central Park, you'll find plants, obviously, and they're all real. And you'll find restaurants, shops, and all sorts of cool stuff. So we want to take a look around here. You got an elephant here. And most of the central parks on all the Wonder or the Oasis class ships are going to be pretty much the same. There might be a couple of differences here and there, but most will be the same. So like this one, there's a TV screen you can hear. It's on the pool deck, but like there's no TV screen on the other shops or under on the other central parks. So you really can't see it, but you can hear it though. And it does make a difference for the balconies here. You can hear it sometimes. So right over here, we got 150 Central Park. It's a specialty restaurant. It's not included with your cruise fare, but uh, there's an extra charge. I've never eaten here. I've heard it's pretty good, but here's a menu. You guys can pause it to read that if you want. And the price of it, I've seen it vary. Um, it depends on your selling, to be honest. I've seen it as low as like $30, 35 bucks sometimes, and I've seen it as high as 70. So it just, everything on the Royal Caribbean ships, the price varies. For the most part, depending on your selling itinerary and all that, supply and demand, they change a lot of it up. And when you book it, a lot of it matters. So here you have the rising tide bar. This right here is a bar and the whole thing moves. It goes down to the promenade. This is on all of the Oasis class ships. It has a set schedule right there. There's an next departure. Right now it's closed because we're in port, so they kind of keep that closed. It's pretty cool. It's the full bar and it moves up and down. It goes really slow, but still it's a really cool concept. So we're going to walk all the way over to the opposite side. So on the opposite side from 150 Central Park, you've got Chops Grill, which is classic on Royal Caribbean ships. It is the steakhouse. It's pretty good. I've eaten here quite a bit. And the price also varies depending on sale day and all that. I know it is cheaper on older ships though. And here's your menu. If you don't want to pause that, you can take a look at it. So it's pretty good. I've gotten the filet, I've gotten the ribeye. It's, it's a good meal. And I think on this selling, it was like $70 or something. So it's pretty expensive. That's what, this is one of the high, more expensive sellings I've seen it. Generally though, 50 to $60 is what I normally see it. That's just right now, it's, it's a pretty full ship. So, and it's summer, I guess summer, still into summer, going into winter, I don't know. And the Bahamas is summer, I don't know what it is. You know it's December, it's still summer weather down here. And the cruise is, I believe, is sold out. So straight up ahead, you got a bar. This bar's open most of the night, and I have seen live music here before, so I don't know if that's normal or every night. It's not every night, I don't think, because I've come out here at night and there's not been live music. So. Then they got these cool walkways here. I really like these. And normally there's plants above here. At least on the other ships there is. There's plants and stuff. So it looks really cool when the plants are here. And you got another elephant right here. And you can actually see the screen on this one right there. See it up there? Now this is not on any other Oasis class ship. They typically would use the aqua theater screen for like movies, sporting events and stuff. So you can see it up here. I thought you might be able to do farther back, but yeah. Here it is, uh, and I have heard it does impact the balconies here. It can be kind of noisy sometimes. So if that's an issue, you may not want to book one of the balconies here. I've never stayed in one. I've wanted to. I've stayed on the boardwalk one, but not Central Park. I want to, though. And over here, I wonder, there's actually these astronauts that are randomly just scattered around the ship. I don't know how many there are. I think they said there's seven or eight of them. I have no clue. I'm just going off memory what I watched in another video at one point. And there's kind of scattered around. Now there's one up in the pool deck beside the, uh, like across this, and the stadium seating to watch the screen. There's one there. I want to say there's one near the rock climbing walls in Aqua Theater. I mean, I haven't looked for them, but I know they're out there. So, so right over here, let's back up. We got Giovanni's. So we're still on the same side over here. We got Giovanni's. This is an Italian restaurant. 
this or Jamie's is going to be on, one of the two will be on pretty much every Royal Caribbean ship. It's the Italian restaurant. Never, I have you in here once. I have had here once. I had a steak on here. Not on the Wonder, but on a different ship. I don't remember what boat it was on. I've been on so many of them. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. The steak was really good. A lot of people like this steak better than the steakhouse. I'd say they're about the same. They're both very good. But I have seen a lot of forums and groups that people prefer this steak. So here's your Giovanni's menu. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go slow over it. And you guys can always pause this to look at it. So yeah, uh, Jamie's Italian is what they were putting on the ships. It was Giovanni's and Jamie's. And for whatever reason, they went back to Giovanni's again. So like the Symphony has Jamie's and Odyssey has Jamie's, I believe. And there might be a few others. I think Mariner maybe does too. So you have Park Cafe. This is included with your cruise costs. It has uh, sandwiches and a little bit healthier stuff. It's open for breakfast and like, not dinner, but they have like, a, they close at like 4.30. So it closes for breakfast and reopens for lunch. It closes at 4.30. So it's like a late lunch type thing. There's fruit and everything in there. So yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see if I can actually walk in there real quick. Hello. I'm not getting anything. I just want to, I actually have never walked in here. So you got soup and you got some desserts and some meats and chips. Create your own salad. That's kind of cool. And you got some seating back here. And over here, you got your regular included coffees and juices and water. So, yeah, it's pretty cool in here. They do do breakfast in here, too. I've never eaten here. I generally go to Johnny Rockets for breakfast on this boat. That's my go-to. But I have no clue what people say about it. Well, it's generally quiet. I have walked by here at breakfast, and it's pretty quiet. So a lot of people don't go here. For breakfast so i've seen it's not crowded so if you want a quiet place here you go then of course more jewelry stores there are numerous jewelry stores on these boats so here's one right here um here's the hours we're in port today so this is a short three night cruise so it's kind of just whatever so i have a lot of stuff to close right now so i take you all in there unfortunately i can't we got another one i can't even e f f y f e i, I don't know well, there's hours for that. It's jewelry. I know what some watches are, but that's about it. And you have these big maps out here. You have one on each side, and it's the same thing. But yeah, they're they're the same thing. We're going to walk to the other side, just on the adjacent side. And you got a rabbit statue or a bunny, whatever you want to call that, holding a. I uh, don't know what that is. And this is a good way to cross through the park, like cross across the ship. It's a good way. Deck eight is a good ship or a good deck to stay on because you have this right here, so you can cross pretty easily. And it's a good walk through. Like I love walking through Central Park. It's generally pretty quiet, so you get that. You got the bird chirping noises playing through, so it's a good, it's a good, uh, good area to stay and hang out. I used to hang out here all the time. At night, it's real nice because they got lights that light it up and everything. And every Central Park does have a little seal like this. So everyone's got that. But yeah, they're pretty much the same. If you've been on any Oasis ship, Central Park's pretty much going to be the same. You might have a little bit different animals and that kind of stuff, or statues of animals. And uh, yeah, the Jamie's may, or Giovanni's may be here, or Jamie's may be here. But pretty much very similar. They got same walkway chops as on all of them. Same jewelry stores for the most part. This one does have the TV screen that I can no longer see because sprinkles ice cream places on the way but yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll have a full tour of this up i'm just kind of putting shorter videos up of each individual thing because a full tour is like 40 minutes of this but 40 or 50 minutes that's a long time to watch and you may only be interested in a certain part of the ship i'm trying so let me know if i do anything wrong like like share all that good stuff i'm not even going to tell y'all anymore it's kind of annoying but yeah you guys stay safe and i will see y'all in the next one